7 o'clock Tuesday night, we're going to begin prayer. How do you pick a favorite service? Uh, each, each one I go to, I think it's the best one I've ever been to. Uh, and Tuesday night prayer meeting is right up there uh, with my favorite time in the week. Crying out to God together. It's biblical, it's apostolic, and we learned Sunday that every one of our prayers go forth as a memorial. And uh, I believe great things are going to be done tonight in the kingdom. Let's just focus on him. We'll lick our finger and figure out what direction the wind of the Holy Ghost is blowing. We'll just get in, hoist our sails, get in the flow of the Holy Ghost. Sister Sydney is going to come and lead us off with worship. Let's just open our heart and magnify our great king. Oh God, tonight we want to start tonight. We want to start the night in a posture of worship. God, we want to come tonight with a heart of worship to you, a heart of gratitude, a heart of thankfulness, a heart of praise to our God. Lord, there is nobody like you. You are God and God alone. We exalt the name of Jesus. We worship you for who you are. God, we give you praise for all that you've done. We've seen you come through time and time again. You are faithful. You are true. You are righteous and holy in all of your ways. Oh, but we worship you for who you are. You are the King of kings and the Lord of all lords. You are the great I am, the I am and the I will be. You are the King of kings. You are mighty to save. You are mighty to heal. You are mighty to deliver. You're mighty to restore. Your nature is faithfulness. Your very nature is love. You are so great and so mighty, and we've come to worship you, to exalt you as Lord in your rightful place, seated on the throne of our lives, seated on the throne of this church, seated on the throne of this city. Let the name of Jesus be exalted in Humboldt County. Let the name of Jesus be exalted in this nation, in this world. Oh, we want to worship you. We want to come with praise and adoration and to exalt you for who you are. We recognize your sovereignty. We recognize your holiness. We recognize your deity. You are great and greatly to be praised. There there is nobody like you, Jesus, and we worship you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Who is this king of glory? It's the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Oh, let the fruit of our lips, we want to come with praise. Oh, God, but we don't want to just worship you with our words. We want to be worshipers in spirit and in truth. We want our very lives to be worship unto you. We want to be worshipers in this house and we want to be worshipers outside of this house. Let us be living sacrifices, holy, acceptable, holy, giving ourselves to you in a life of worship. God, let us have a lifestyle and a posture, a mindset of worship for exalting you for who you are and praising you for all that you've done. We never want to forget, God, what you've done. We never want to take for granted your faithfulness, your sovereignty, your power, and your might that you've displayed. We never want to take for granted the miracles, the miraculous power that we've seen time and time again. We praise you for it. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the
the praise for what you've done. And we worship you for who you are. We crown you King of kings and Lord of lords. We want you to be exalted. We want you to be lifted high. We want you to be glorified and seated high. You are high and lifted up. Your train fills the temple. There is nobody like our God. So we worship you and we praise you in Jesus name. Jesus, I just want to thank you tonight for the cross and what it means for us, oh God. The deliverance that you bring, the changes that have happened in our lives and everyone across this room. God, I just want to thank you. I've watched miracles happen, God, in lives, God. And God, you can continue to do it, God, in our city. I pray, God, tonight against the bondage of sin, addictions, trials, and those temptations, God. These, I want you to dismantle the enemy's plans and strategies, his tactics. The scripture said he's come to kill, steal, and to destroy. And God, I've watched over my years of living in this city and being a Christian for 49 years. I've watched him come to kill, steal, and destroy. I've watched him destroy homes. I've watched him destroy marriages. I've watched him destroy families. I've watched him destroy children and even our society, God. He has tactics, God, that he uses and trauma is one of them, God. And that significant pain, loss, and abuse that have happened to people in our community, God. It's real. It's there. And they have no answers. They're turning to the world as if the world has some kind of answer. God, as if a bar stool offers some kind of hope. If a needle in the arm, God, or snorting meth up their nose, God, or smoking a joint is going to somehow relieve the pain. And all it does is create new pain on top of the original pain they're trying to get rid of. Oh, God, I ask you, God, to come to people. God, as they lay on their beds at night, God, and they can't get to sleep, will you talk to them? Will you draw them? Because we know no men come to, to the Father. Father, no one comes to the Father except you draw him. And so, God, I'm asking you, Lord, to draw them and begin, oh God, to do a work in their hearts. Begin to draw them, Father. And not only draw them, but put them in the paths of the church people, God, your church family. Let us be open and receptive and keen every day, asking you to order our steps to someone each day. And God, I want you to bring people to deliverance and cause, God. These people, God, wrapped in sin and addiction, God. And the, God, they just are have, have absolutely no hope, God. Let them come to an end of themselves, oh God. And let them, don't think this work of the enemy is going to solve their problem. Their hearts are broken, they're wrecked, they're torn, they're shattered. And so God, I know that the cross provides that. Your Holy Spirit, come Coming inside of them, God, can create, God, a new creation, new understanding, new concepts. God, you can create restoration. You can do a work, oh God, that only you can do. So God, every trial and test and experience that we've had in our lives, oh God, they create who we are, but Satan wants to take those things, the bad in our lives, the bad that people out there in this world, God, they look at the bad, they look at the dysfunction, they look at the abuse and the problems, God, and they feel like there is absolutely no hope. And Satan would like to give those people and send them into the bondage of sin and addiction. But God, you have a greater plan. You've always said in your word, lo, I'm with you always. You never leave us. God, you knew us even when we were sinners. You died for us. You saw us on the cross and you saw, God, our dilemma. And you died to bring the solution. And I thank you for the cross tonight. I'm asking you, Lord. The scripture lets us also know that God, you said, and we know all things work together for the good. If people will just learn to love you, God, 
because you said that you would you would take those things all things working together for the good to those who are called to God that love you God and I pray you're not willing that any should perish but all come to repentance so tonight God I'm asking you draw them to repentance draw them to change God draw them to understand if they'll turn from their sin and turn to you that you have the answers in those things that were designed God you can take it and turn it for good you can build messes and make ministry out of it God would you do that God look at and help people to look at the tough times that they go through and we can decide to go one of two ways. We either we either just come under the load of it and cave, and we walk in, in anger and sadness, or God, we can, we can rise to the top and understand God, Lord Jesus, that all things are working together. It's a time, it's an opportunity to learn and grow. Teach us to grow in our trials and in our testings and in the experiences that we've had that have almost pulled the rug out from right up from underneath us, God, you have a plan in all things, God. Everything works together for the good. So those under the sound of my voice, God, that hear this, turn to Jesus. Turn your hearts over. Turn that addiction. Set it aside and turn to God. He has the answers. People use for relief, but there is no relief, only bondage. Satan only is out to kill, steal, and destroy. But you came, Jesus, that we would have life and that more abundantly. Set the captives free. That's why you came. Lord deliver them from their captivity God and heal their broken hearts God and I pray all of this God in Jesus name in Jesus Lord Jesus, I pray for our children that are in need in Humble County, Lord Jesus. I pray for the children that have drug addicted parents, Lord Jesus, that don't know have anything else to do, Lord Jesus. I pray for the parents who have to work so much, Lord Jesus, that their kids don't even get to see them, Lord Jesus, and that they have to just go on their own, Lord Jesus. I pray for the children in Africa who have nothing to drink, Lord Jesus, and have dirty water and very bad food there, Lord Jesus. I pray for the children who have to go on hiding, Lord Jesus, for them, that they, for your sake, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for the children of Humboldt County who are influenced by bad by bad parents who do the wrong things lord jesus and i pray for the children that are smoking lord jesus that they will get off of it in the name of jesus hallelujah lord i pray for the children that are in Ukraine, Lord Jesus, that have to be dislocated and they have to see all the gun shooting and the bombings, Lord Jesus. I pray that they find refuge in different places, Lord. I pray that they find refuge in places like America, Lord Jesus, where there is no war, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray for the kids who do bad things, Lord Jesus, that go to do bad things in the neighborhood, Lord Jesus, that hurt people, Lord Jesus, and get in fights, that they will stop doing those fightings, Lord Jesus. I pray that they will find help, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name.
I worship you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, there is no one better than you. There is no one higher than you. There is no one greater than you. You reign on high. You reign with all authority. Oh, you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Most High God. There is no one better than you. There is no principality greater than you. There is no law higher than your law. When you speak, things come to pass. Hallelujah, every word that you say comes to pass. Hallelujah. Lord, you reign on high. You reign with all authority. You reign in this city. Let your name be magnified in this city. Let your name be magnified in this city. Oh God, I pray that people would find a refuge in this city. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that people would come to the saving power of the name in this city I thank you for that name Lord Jesus it's the name above every other name there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved it's the only saving name I pray God that someone would get the Holy Ghost, that the strongholds in their mind would be torn down, that they'd be delivered from drugs, from alcohol, from the addictions that they've been bound to, from the old lifestyles that they've had, the generational curses, the way that they've used to live, the way that they used to think, the actions that they used to go through, the motions that they've gone through, old, dead, dry, boring religion, Oh, God, I pray that something would get a hold of Humboldt County, God, that we'd not go through the motions anymore. Oh, that you'd shake us, oh, God, that you'd set a fire in our souls. Let someone get the Holy Ghost. Let someone get the Holy Ghost afresh. Let someone be baptized in Jesus' name. You reign on high in this city. You reign on high in this city. You reign on high in this city, oh God. There is nobody better than you. Oh, that someone would come to that well. When they drink from you, they will not thirst again. They won't want their drugs. They won't want their alcohol. Alcohol, oh God, I pray that you'd save them. Lord, save the souls of Humboldt County, oh God. I pray that you'd rebuke the prince, the adversary that is against us, that has been set up in this city. I pray that you'd rebuke the devils of our area. I rebuke them in Jesus' name. I come against the forces of the enemy that have tried to hinder the growth of this church in Jesus' name. I come against the devil that has spoken lies against our people and tried to cause division in Jesus' name. Jesus name oh halabaha we're having revival in Jesus name souls will be saved in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah kayenda lalabaha ala kotoyenda lalabaha akayela bakoshondo lokoyelabaha people will get the holy ghost oh lord i believe you're going to move in this last day i believe that people are going to be singing your praises Hallelujah. I believe people are going to get the Holy Ghost in their houses. Hallelujah. In the shops, in the stores, at their business places when they're asleep. I believe people are going to get the Holy Ghost. I believe people are going to come to us saying, I heard about that Jesus name baptism. Oh, and I want to get baptized tonight. Oh, I pray, God, that there'd be a sense of urgency that would get a hold of people in this city. Oh, I pray that you'd remove the cynicism from our people. Oh, God, I pray that you'd move in our city and that you'd touch our people, Lord Jesus. I, I pray that you'd stir their hearts. Oh, God, I pray that you'd move on the brokenhearted and the suicidal. Oh, God, they're desperate and they're crying out to you tonight. Lord, they have needs that only you can meet.
Oh, they have needs that nobody else can come to. God, that only you can approach to. Oh, but you're as close as the mention of your name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Oh, I just love you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for everything you have done for us, Lord. I thank you for your mercy and grace, Lord, that you poured out on us you are not worthy of, Lord. But I come to you today, Lord, in Second Chronicles, you've given us a promise. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and we are here tonight, we are praying, Lord. We're praying for healing. We're praying for deliverance. We're praying for freedom, Lord. We're praying for an overcoming spirit, Lord. And we're asking you right now, in Jesus' name, to bring that into the fruition, Lord. Let it come to pass right now, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the healing in here. There's all kinds of infirmities, Lord. We thank you for letting us see them and letting us see them being healed, Lord. We thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. We are overcomers through Christ who strengthens us, and we pick up that candle, that, that, that part of our lives, and we, we march forward with it. We boldly run into the throne of grace. We have no fear in us, Lord. We cast out all fear away from us, Lord. We cast out all doubt away from us, Lord. We do not take any of that. We take dominion over all those things that causes us to miss those things that you have for us, Lord. And we're here now seeking those things that you have for us, Lord. We thank you and praise you for those things that you're going to give to us, Lord. We thank you and praise you right now. The physical healings in our bodies are needed, Lord. Lord, we need these things to be able to function properly, Lord. And we know that you said if we will humble ourselves and seek your face and pray, we know that these things will happen, Lord. We know that if we turn from our wicked ways, then you will heal our lands. And we're taking that land right now by authority, by your name, by the authority of Jesus Christ. We are taking that land. We are conquering that land right now in Jesus' name. We will not surrender. We will not give up. We'll do this by your grace, Lord. We thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, we know that your eyes will be open, our ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. We know that our eyes and your eyes, our ears and your ears, we know that when we come to you, two or three are gathered in your name that you will there be there also lord and we're claiming that right now we feel your presence i feel your presence right now in jesus name i feel it right now i feel the holy ghost right here right now lord i thank you for that holy ghost has given us the power to overcome lord the, the power to receive the power to understand the power to walk away lord and have discerning spirit lord I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for all these things. We know that you are the God. You are Shekinah glory. And I know my God will meet all the needs according to the riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We know this thing, and we're grabbing a hold of that right now. The riches are healing, Lord, healing in our body, healing in our minds, in our spirit, healing in our walk, healing in our families, Lord. There are so many broken families out there, Lord. I ask you to touch them in a mighty way, Lord. I ask you to bring healing into that family. Let them not ever remember the hurt, Lord. Let the hurt be cast away, Lord, and let favor come into their lives, Lord. Let them have it, that, that good ground, Lord. Let them see that they, they can stand on good ground, Lord. They don't have to stand in the mud or the, the miry clay, that they can stand and put their feet on the rock and stay, Lord. Let them see it, Lord. Let that be a healing in their mind. Lord, we just thank you for that healing, Lord. I ask you, Lord, once again, we don't have to, we don't have to bawl and cry. We can come boldly to the throne of grace 
So right now, I challenge my church right now, here on this spot, run boldly into the throne of grace. Pick up your cross and follow him. Follow him with all your might, with all your power, with all your strength. I challenge you people. I challenge the people here today, Lord. I just challenge, I just say right now, Lord, that you, you, you will meet them there. You will meet them. You met me there, Lord. You delivered me from the dope and the heroin, the methamphetamine, all the things that were in my life, Lord. You said, by my grace, you're delivered, Dave Ramsey. And I was, Lord. You delivered me wholeheartedly. And I thank you for it, Lord. And I ask you to do it to the people in this church right now, Lord. Bring that deliverance and that healing into their bodies, Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, once and for all, once and for all. No, oh, Lord, teach us to confess our sins to each, each other, Lord. Let us not hide our sins, Lord. Let those sins be brought out into the open, Lord, confessing them to one another, confessing them to our brothers and sisters, Lord. To, oh, Lord, so that we can be healed. Oh, man, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, Lord, and we know it, Lord, and we know that, and it starts with confessing our sins one to another. Lord, I know that peace I leave with you, peace I give you. I do not give you as the wor world gives. Do, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John 14, 27. You are no, there is no fear in you, Lord, and I know it. I've seen it. And when I see fear, I rebuke it. And I want to rebuke that fear right now that's in this church, Lord. Let it not come through the doors. Let it be blocked when the doors are open, Lord. I take dominion over it. I cast it into outer darkness, never to be seen again. Give us a boldness, Lord. Give us a new name. Give us a new thing, Lord. We don't know of any uh, thing that isn't new, but the things that we haven't done, those are the new things that you want to give us, Lord. And that's what we want, Lord. We want that new thing, Lord. We thank you and praise you for this time together, Lord. We thank you and praise you for everything you are doing. For you are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. You are mighty in the delivering power. We know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. For we have overcome the world by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, Lord. We want to be able to testify about the great things you have done, the healings and the deliverances in our bodies, Lord. We thank you for it. And I praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forgotten all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns, you with love and compassion we know lord we have to love we know that we have to love teach us to want to love not that we have to teach us that we want to love teach us about how love is that it that is unconditional lord let us have that unconditional love just like you have lord let it be unconditional to ourselves and to our brothers and sisters lord let us have a kind heart a gentle heart let us speak truth, but let us speak it wisely, Lord. And let us not be hurtful, Lord. We just thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God, this moment we pray our prophetic prayers over our church, over our city, over our families. Lord, right now, before we can have a city-wide revival, we need to have an individual revival. God, I plead your blood over every household in our church. Lord, I ask that you would send your ministering angels into every home, God. That you would let people and let them see into their own hearts and tear down the idols that have built into the walls of their hearts. God, that you would deliver them of their addictions, of their deceptions, of their offenses. My God, of the things that would distract and de deter us from the work of the Lord, God. There is a harvest that is calling for us. There are people that need us, God. I pray, God, that you would help us set aside every weight in the name of Jesus, that we would cut 
that foreskin of our heart and let our heart be soft before you, God, that we might feel what you feel, what we might hurt what you hurt and you see the people who are bleeding in the streets, God, that they're, they're lost and they're desperate and they are longing and they need hope, God. Build that deep compassion and empathy back within us, Lord, I pray. In your mighty name, we ask for deliverance, for healing, for that hunger for righteousness, for your name's sake, God, that you would deal with us, Lord. Deal with us, God. Your word says in Matthew 13, 15, that this people's heart is waxed gross. Their ears are dull of hearing. Their eyes have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and be converted that you might heal them. Lord, we pray, Jesus, for our city. My God, you said in Ezekiel 37 that the hand of the Lord was upon him. And you carried him out in the spirit and set him down in the midst of the valley that was full of bones. God, we sit in a city that is filled with bones, Lord. You are seeing these bones and they are very dry. Lord, we prophesy to the winds over Humboldt County, God of the north and the south, the east and the west, that you would send angels, ministering angels, to this city. Breathe life into those that are dead, that are dry, that are thirsty, that are desperate. We prophesy to the winds of the spirit, God, that you would seek out and save those that are hungering for a life that is better. They are lost, they are hopeless, they are desperate, they are in need. My God, give us eyes to see these people as we pass them in the grocery store, as we pass them in the street. Give us eyes to see those that are hungry and thirsty and longing for your presence. They don't even know what they're looking for. They don't know what they need. Give us those eyes of compassion. Let us see them, God, and let us love them the way you would have us love them. They are covered in sin. They are dirty. They have walked in ways that we would not be pleased pleasing before you, God. They have walked in abominations. They have walked in darkness, God, and they need the light. They need the light from the cities that are set up on that hill that cannot be hid. Help us not to cover our light anymore. Help us not to be intimidated by the darkness. In the name of Jesus, peel back the layers of darkness like an onion. Let the lights in the city shine, that the cities of refuge might be known to the people, that they might find the cities of refuge in the people of this church church, that we would lead them to the altar, that we would lead them to repentance, that we would lead them to baptism, that we would lead them to your spirit, God, that they would know who you are through us, God. You said, then shall I teach transgressors thy ways. We cannot teach them your ways until we are in the way we must be. Dust off the Bibles in every home, God. Dust off the altars. Rebuild the altars in every home, God. Let there be an altar in each home, Lord, I pray. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild the altars. We prophesy to every broken altar in the name of Jesus that you would rebuild the altar home by home. That our children would wake up weeping and praying in the Holy Ghost. That fathers and mothers would wake up weeping and praying in the Holy Ghost for their neighbors, God, for their co-workers, God, for the nameless person they passed on the street, but they felt their hurt and their pain. Let us be sensitive again. Let us be sensitive again to the hurting and the lost and the broken, even the lost and the broken within our own walls, God. Breathe into our people again. Breathe that compassion. Let us love what you love and let us hate what you hate. But let us love with the love that you have for the people, God, I pray. I prophesy this over our church that a, a wave of compassion would blow through. A wave of empathy, a deep intercession for this community and the people that are lost within it, Lord, I pray. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, first of all, for every prodigal, 
in every wayward son and daughter that's made their way home already. God, we rejoice tonight. Lord, there's names we used to call on that they're here again and they're occupying, God, these pews and they found that walk with you again. God, first of all, we return to give you thanks tonight. But God, tonight there's so many that have known this way, that have walked away. There's so many, God, that are like the dry bones, Lord, that you said to prophesy to. So tonight, according to your word, God, we prophesy to the dread, dry bones, God, of every wayward son, of every wayward daughter, of every soul, Lord, that's found itself, God, outside of your good grace. We pray, God, tonight, and we prophesy, let the bones come together, let the sinew come together, Lord, let the wind from heaven blow across this land. God and let the breath of life return into their lungs. God, you told us in your word when we know not what to pray for as we ought, it's your spirit that maketh intercession. So we pray. God, let your spirit pray through us tonight for our prodigals. Let your spirit reach God into our city, into our camp. God into the utmost part of this world and bring every prodigal Lord to their knee bring every wayward son every wayward daughter God home we pray God we pray that every blindfold of deceit would be ripped off uh, we pray tonight God that every wayward son would see clearly the father's house again I pray God let there be a quickening in their spirit, Lord, to remember the Father's house, uh, to remember, Lord, your voice, to remember, Lord, what it felt like to be in your presence. Uh, Lord, when you were speaking, you reminded us, God, what man wouldn't leave the ninety and nine and go into the wilderness, God, would go after that one. Uh, I pray, God, give us that heartbeat that would go after the one. Uh, Lord, the woman that was sweeping the house, Lord, for the coin, uh, the silver that was lost, it was in the house. Uh, so I pray, God, tonight for those uh, that are in the house but are cold in their spirit. God, let there be a fire, we pray, kindled again. Uh, let there be a renewing in the Holy Ghost. Uh, let the light of your Spirit shine, God, right where they're at. Let us do everything we can, God, to find those uh, that have been wayward. Uh, those that are in the house, God, that are cold and indifferent. Those, God, that are in our homes that are in, Lord, this house even tonight. God, that have walked away, we pray for them. God, let their faith fail them not when they meet the hour of temptation and their faith is tried. I pray, God, they would find the testimony to get up again. And for the prodigal, Lord, that wasted his life, in riotous living God let him come to himself uh, if Solomon prayed if your people Lord would ever stray uh, if your people would go another way uh, if they would that you would hear uh, you responded to us and said if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray uh, we pray it here tonight let there be a humbling in the land uh, let there be a turning God from our wicked way let your ear be tuned in, God, I pray, to the heart of those that have walked away. Oh, God, I pray, let them be stirred in a midnight hour. Uh, God, we, we know that you're able, uh, but I pray there would be a supernatural wind that would blow from heaven. Uh, stir their hearts in this time, in this season, we pray. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Lord. And by faith, the answer came. Hallelujah. He's an answering God. We brought many needs before your throne tonight, God. And I want to thank you for hearing every prayer. And God, we come at this time to pray for those who need healing in their emotions, God. You reached down into the dust of the earth many years ago, and you formed a man. And from that dust that you, you brought forth and made him in your likeness, then you said, God, that you breathe breath into that man, and he became a living soul. Lord, you made a man with three areas in his life. You made his spirit so that he could be touched by the spirit of the living God. You made his body, Lord Jesus, that is the house of the spirit and the house of the soul of man. And Jesus, you see that as man maneuvers and man walks and man talks and he works and he runs and he plays and he goes and he moves throughout the earth, Lord God, and events take place. When you came time, Lord, to go to the cross just before you went there, you said, my soul is exceeding sorrowful. You felt the pain of death coming on. When you saw your friend Lazarus die, the Bible says Jesus wept. You begin to feel, dear God, the pains of the loss of your friend. And God, here we are tonight. We got homes that have brokenness in them. We have husbands and wives that have brokenness in their relationships. We got children that have brokenness, dear God, between them and their parents. And God, we need you to come tonight and be our healer. We need our emotions healed tonight, God. It's not the will of God that we be out of step with God, but it's the will of God that we walk in the Spirit so that we would not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I pray tonight, God, that you will heal our emotions. I pray for every broken-hearted parent here tonight that their children are out of the ark of safety. They did not raise their children to be lost and go to hell. They did not bring their child to the house of God for them to turn and do like uh, the apostle Peter said that the dog returned back to his vomit God I pray against that lifestyle I pray for every mother and father that has prayed and wept over their child Jesus that you would bring restoration in their emotions that you would bring healing into their heart dear God Oh, God, oh, God, we need you, Lord, we need you, Lord, we need you, Lord, we need you. I pray for the emotions, dear God, of every mother and father. I pray for the emotions of each and every individual, dear God. I'm praying, Jesus, that you will bring healing. I pray that the joy of the Lord will become their strength, oh, God. I pray, Lord, that the lost would be found. I pray, dear God, that the prodigals would come home. In Jesus' name, it breaks our heart, God, to see prodigals. It hurts us, dear God. We feel it in our heart, Lord. We feel it in our emotions. Oh, God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, they would not perish. But, Lord, they should have everlasting life. Bring restoration tonight, God. I'm thanking you. I'm praising you, God. To God be the glory for all that you have done. I thank you for every child that comes to church. I thank you for every young person, Lord, that is turning their life over to you. I thank you for every individual, Lord, that is saying yes to Jesus and no to the devil. For we know that the thief cometh only for to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus, you said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. So we give you thanksgiving tonight, Lord. Thank you for the prodigals coming home. Thank you for our children coming back to salvation. To God be the glory. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord and thank him 
Thank you, Jesus, for the lost being redeemed again, being healed in their heart and life. Praise God. Our final prayer tonight is for multicultural uh, revival. According to uh, the Internet, our specific county is 82.6 white, black or African American, 1.5 American uh, Indian, Alaskan Native, 6.4 Asian, 3.5. O, Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Island, point four, two or more races, six. Let's pray that God would give us a supernatural, multicultural revival. I realize not everybody takes a census. Some people choose not to, but that's a baseline that we can pray for. So let's pray over this, and then we're going to pray over our missionaries We're going to pray for a global multicultural revival. Let's begin right here in Humboldt County. Dear Heavenly Father, every nation, every kindred, every tongue, dear God, it's the soul of man that is important to you. Lord, you don't look on the color of the skin, the tint of the skin. You look at the soul that's going to live forever. We pray, dear God, from the north, the south, and the east, and the west, that there would be a revival, God, that would come to every culture, that would come to every language, that would come to every individual and every group of people, dear God, from a particular place. I pray, dear God, that there would be revival in Humboldt County, uh, God, of every single uh, group of people people and culture. I pray they would feel welcome in this church. I curse the spirit of racism, dear God, that's trying to take the globe. I pray against the spirit of antichrist that brings division. I pray against it. I cover it by the blood of Jesus this night. Dear God, let your love be multiplied across boundaries of race. We pray in the Holy Ghost there would be in this house, God, every color. I pray, God, we claim that in this house, every time we would gather together, that every nation would be represented here. Every continent would be represented right here. Uh, America is now the melting pot. We don't have to go around the world. Uh, God, the world has come to America. I pray you would give us a great revival. You said my house shall be called a house of prayer among all nations and so we speak it God this day I pray dear God for California to have a multicultural revival I pray it would sweep dear God I pray it would sweep across and down this entire state and let it sweep across the United States I pray let it be a harvest of every color a harvest of every culture And I pray for a worldwide global harvest today. Uh, Dear God, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon them all. Uh, God, what a glorious day it's going to be when we get to heaven. I pray for our missionaries tonight, Jesus. Uh, I not only pray for those that get a lot of attention. Uh, God, I pray for those that are breaking barriers. Uh, I pray for those, God, whose name's not in social media. I pray for the missionaries that nobody knows about. God, they don't have glaring reports, but they're faithfully casting the seed, and they're faithfully cursing the darkness, and they're faithfully turning the light on. We join their prayers this night. We join, God, their faith this night. Let there come a revival to every corner. God, you said then the end of the world would come when this gospel is 
preach to the ends of the world. We speak it, God. We believe it locally and globally for your name's sake, God. While there is yet time, we realize your trumpet is going to sound, but we're heralding our faith tonight towards heaven. We speak it over the land. We speak it over the people. I pray for headquarters, God, that you would give them the right plan. I pray, dear God, that you would help the admin department of of global missions and those that reach abroad. Strengthen their minds and their weariness through red tape. Give them divine insight, I pray. Give them God plans for this last day revival. I pray you would increase their vision. God, lengthen their cords. Lengthen their stakes. I pray those that make decisions would receive fresh faith tonight. There would be a fresh spark in their heart that they were reminded that God is going to do a sovereign work in this last day. We claim it by faith in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Can we just thank the Lord for hearing all of our prayers tonight? (laughs) Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. To all of those who led in prayer, thank you. I think it was the best one we ever had. Amen. Every time we're in the presence of God. There's nothing like it. Amen, amen, amen. Be real kind to that person next to you. Uh, Encourage them in the Lord. Tell them we're in the middle of a earth-shaking revival. What a breakout week we had. We had nearly 15. Somebody said receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost from Sunday to Sunday. 11 or 12 baptized. The Holy Ghost train is moving down the road. We got three lined up to be baptized on Thursday. Hey, hey, it's revival time. Every nation, every kindred, every tongue. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Music, it is your turn. Mother's Day is right around the corner. They're practicing for that. Thank you for being an apostolic praying church. God bless you, God bless you.